Hello guys. So in today's video, we'll see how we can install a new Magento theme for our Magento website. Okay. So without further ado, let's start. So the first step that we'll be doing that uh, we need to download a Magento theme. Okay. So there are various number of websites that provides Magento themes and there are premium ones which you need to purchase and there are also free ones which you can download for free so uh, i'll be providing such uh, website links in the description box so that you can download it later and install it according to your requirements so let me just quickly move on to the directory where i've already download downloaded one magento theme file okay so i think uh, this is the directory okay and I've extracted it and it's there so if you can see it's uh, it's called the Venus theme files so this is the directory that I've downloaded and these are the files uh, actually the Magento theme files which is there okay so the first step that I'll be doing is that I will be copying the app folder okay because whenever you'll be downloading any module, anything as such for Magento 2, so you'll be having all the files underneath the app folder. Okay. So let me just quickly copy this app folder. Okay. So I've copied the app folder and I'll be moving on to that directory where I'm installed my Magento. Since I'm running, uh, running the Magento in my local host, so let me just quickly move on to the directory or to the location where I've installed my Magento. So it's inside my HD docs. So as you can see, this is my Magento 2. Okay. So where I've installed, where the current installation of Magento 2 is running. If if you can show if you can show you. So this is the current Magento that I'm running on my local host server. So this is the storefront and this is the Magento admin panel. So I'll be installing a new theme and I'll be running the same theme over here. So this is the default Magento theme and it's by the Luma theme. If you can see so let me just quickly move on to the directory where I've installed Magento 2 so this is the directory underneath the XAMPP ST docs this is the directory Magento 2 where, I've, where the current installation is running so I've copied the app file of the theme Magento 2 theme that I've downloaded and I'll be pasting the same app over here so as you can see I've pasted it in the app now if you can move on to the code section so if you can see that this is the venus actually vs means uh, is the venus theme files which is there and these are my theme files which is there and the same way if i go to the design part in the front end so you can see the magento uh, default theme is there directory and the venus theme which i've downloaded it is it is already copied okay so i've done with the copied uh, copying the uh, theme files to my Magento 2 directory. Now, the next step that I'll be doing is to run the shell commands. So, for that, I need to move on to the directory where I've installed my Magento 2. I think it's inside CD ST Docs. So currently I'm inside my Magento 2. Okay. Now what I will do, uh, I'll simply, since I've installed a new module, so the very first step that I'll be doing is to set up upgrade. Okay. So for that, I need to run this command php bin slash Magento setup upgrade. So this command will automatically will upgrade all the modules which is there and if anything if any new modules is there then it will upgrade it and it will install it accordingly so since we have uh, copied a new module and i have pasted it in the magento 2 directory so what it will do it will upgrade that theme files as well okay so let me just run this command and wait for the execution So as you can see, uh, all the modules are, are getting updated and slowly and steadily it is getting executed. So since I'm running this on my localhost, so it's taking a bit time. 
so we can just wait for it uh, till all the updation of the modules is done so as you can see uh, if I just uh, maximize it okay so all the modules are getting updated and if you can see my Venus setup theme file has been installed over here so it's there my Magento theme uh, module has been upgraded successfully now the second step that I'll be doing is to clear the cache so the command for the cache would be php space bin slash magento cache clean so since we have uh, uploaded a new module so it is always recommended to clean the cache and run the following commands accordingly so the cache has been cleared okay now the third step would be run a static content deploy command since all these files have been newly imported to my Magento storefront so it is always recommended to uh, run the static content deploy file so that it will take the all the st uh, static files let's say the JS files and all according to me uh, it will, uh, accordingly it will be rendered to my website properly so for that I need to run this command it's called the php space bin slash magento space setup static content deploy so it will uh, deploy all my static files into my magento so i'll be hitting the enter enter button and just wait for the static content to be deployed to my magento website so in some versions of magento uh, we can find that uh, it will be showing us some uh, error message while deploying the static content files so over here if you can see it is saying me like uh, the dip uh, static content files are automatically be deployed okay so we don't need to run this command but since we have installed a new magento theme files so for some versions of magento and depending upon the php version we have so we need to uh, uh, this static content deploy needs to have an additional command called the space <coughs> f which means force so forcefully we are deploying the static content files so let me hit the enter command again and we can just wait for it yeah so now it is deploying all my static files so in certain versions of magento you need to take care of this command while deploying it so as you can see all my static files are being deployed so it starts with the front end part and automatically will be moving on to the magento admin section as well so these are my files which is there for my uh, basically for my magento website or the storefront which we seen so firstly it will start with the magento front end and then it will be moving on to the administration part as well so if you see now uh, like my front end static files has been deployed so now it has started with the back end part as well so now uh, we just need to wait like the, for the second half of the deployment so until it is done we can just wait for it So it's actually a large number of files that gets deployed so it will take some time and once this is done so we'll be done with our uh, shell command part and after that we can move on to the magento admin and we can configure our theme and after that after configuration this theme then we can move on to the magento website and we can have a look how the magento website looks now so now if we see like um, the default magento theme files has been deployed successfully so now what it is trying to do it is deploying the venus theme files so if you, at the, if the bottom of the screen if you can see the venus theme files have been like currently it is being deployed to my website so accordingly whatever theme you will be downloading so you need to run this command and after, after the default magento theme files static files has been deployed so what it will do it will start deploying your theme files to your website so if you see like all the static content files have been deployed successfully so the next step that we'll be doing will be minimizing this shell window and we need to move on to the magento admin so currently this is my magento website without any theme this is by default theme that looks like now in order to configure it we need to move on to the magento admin 
and we need to log in so currently I'm into my Magento uh, admin dashboard okay so I've done all with my uh, uh, shell commands for my theme files which is there for my Magento and what I'll do in the next step is that after uh, let's say downloading or after installation of all the theme files one should go to the menu called the content okay so if I click on this I'll be getting a two sub sub menu one is the elements and one is the design so what I'll be clicking on is the themes if you can see so let me just click on the theme menu so what this does this theme menu will give you a list of all the themes which is there present in your Magento so as you can see I've got two themes called the Venus theme need and the Venus theme need child so when I downloaded this package of Venus from Venus theme so it like uh, it deployed two themes um, versions one is the need and one is the need child okay so uh, so this is the main grid if you can see like it will give you a list of all the themes which is there uh, currently present uh, in your Magento so let me just click on this uh, Venus theme need so if I click on this uh, particular Venus theme so what will do uh, it will give me a page where it'll, uh, what it will say is like the parent theme is a magento blank theme and also gives gives me the path okay and the theme title is also there and one more thing is there there is a theme preview image like it gives you uh, let's say a preview image like after the deployment or after the installation and after you configure your magento so after that is done successfully so this is how your magento website will look after the deployment of this particular theme okay so from this we can like be assured that uh, whatever themes that we have downloaded that has been correctly being installed in magento now the only thing is that we need to configure it okay so in order to configure it so we need to click on the content menu once again and we need to click on this configuration menu underneath the design so let me just click on this configuration menu so when I click on this configuration menu we can see like it gives me a grid okay and where it says like whatever like the main since I'm having a main website store so if you can see this main website store it has got no theme okay since it uses the Magento de uh, default theme which is the Luma theme so what I need to do I'll be like I'll be configuring configuring my Magento website store with the particular Venus theme that I've just installed okay so as you can see the default theme the applied theme there is no theme and it says that if no value is specified then the system default is being used okay so what I need to do I need to click on this drop down button and I need to select this one the Venus theme okay and the rest part of it you don't need to do any changes and it will be automatically be rendered and according to the design of the theme that is there it will be rendered to your website so you simply need to click on this Venus theme need okay select this from the drop down and click on save configuration so now you can see like uh, after the saving the configuration okay so now the Magento website store will use the theme called the Venus theme need okay so now we have saved the configuration so the next step that we'll be doing is to clearing out the cache files so let me just move on to the console menu again and let me just type out the command php space bin slash magento cache clean so we have got new files being deployed to a website so it is like, uh, like what I do I generally clear out the cache which is there previously so I've cleared out the cache let me just minimize it and, and if I move on to the storefront oops see if you see so this is how my Magento website is looking currently now the fact is that uh, since we have uh, deployed all our theme files 
and we have installed it and we have configured it okay so that our website will be deploying or it will be rendering files from there so so all the css files and js are not being properly rendered okay so at times what we need to do we need to additional run, run this static content deploy command once again so let me just run it again which will be php space magen bin slash magento setup static content deploy space minus f so since we are running a magento 2.2.2 so we need to do additionally add this minus f command so let me just quickly hit enter so it has started deploying the files so you see like uh, we have installed it and we didn't uh, like the website uh, like it's not looking good or it's not looking nice actually because the css files is not being rendered so we need to run this command because magento what it does but at sometimes it will by default it will uh, like it will call those css files but what happens at times it uh, doesn't happen so we need to manually uh, run this command additionally so after that we can like we can check with our website whether it's working properly or not so until this is done we can just wait for it so as you can see uh, so development of the static files is done so let me just quickly minimize it and let me just reload the page So as you can see, uh, like the new theme has been properly deployed to my Magento website. As you can see, the header has been changed. If you remember, so this is the header, and all these categories has been like it has been centeredly positioned to my page. And this is how my like the page catalog page is being look uh, is looking. Okay, so the page is still loading. Just give it some time to finish it okay and so this is how we add like uh, we have successfully deployed magento theme to our website and accordingly we can configure it from the uh, magento admin as well according to your requirements and you can change it accordingly okay so so this was all from today's video so i hope you like it and if you have any comments or if you have any queries you can just drop it in the comment section below and i'll surely get back to you okay and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button as well in order to get the latest videos so so see you next time bye bye